Welcome to this screencast video demonstrating how to use COMSOL to model power loss in a copper bus bar. This is practice problem number two and session number two of AltaSim Technologies training course solving COMSOL multiphysics problems. The copper bus bar pictured below has 100 amps of electric current flowing across it in the lengthwise direction. We will use COMSOL to determine the voltage drop as well as the power loss in the bus bar. Let's begin. To open up a new model file, click File, New. Then in the Model Wizard window, we will select 3D as the space dimension. This is the default, so we don't have to do anything. Click Next. And then for the physics that we'll add, is that will be found under the ACDC branch. So expand the ACDC branch by clicking on the white triangle. And then click once on electric currents. Click the plus icon to add the selected physics to the selection list. And you can see that the dependent variable that we'll be solving for is the electric potential denoted by capital V. Click Next. We'll be solving the stationary form of the equations. So click stationary. And then click the checkered flag icon to finish. Once we've done that, we can see in our model builder window that we have our structure tree. The first thing that we'll want to do is import a geometry. This variable ec.qrh and then we'll want to make sure to add the domain to the selection list. So in the graphics window, left click once on the domain to turn it red, right click to add it to the selection list. And so what this derived values volume integration operation is going to do is integrate the resistive losses across the volume and arrive with a value in watts of the, the total loss. So to evaluate, simply click on the evaluate button here at the top of the settings window. And we can see that a table is generated that shows the resistive losses of 3.83 watts, which we already knew because we calculated it in our head. This completes this example problem. Thank you.